the best hidden rewards that beginners miss in Grand Cross Age of Titans. If you missed my last video on Grand Cross Age of Titans, we hinted a little bit at the VIP levels, and this is what we're going to be focusing on in today's video, as well as talking about a few of the heroes. So when you're first starting out in Grand Cross Age of Titans, your first few days can feel a little daunting. There's a lot to do. A lot of different buildings you're starting to unlock, a lot of different buildings you're starting to upgrade. My last video focuses on some of the things, some of the topics such as which buildings to upgrade first. Make sure you check that one out. But today we're talking about a big thing that a lot of beginners miss and don't even look at their first few days playing Grand Cross Age of Titans. And it's this VIP level up here in the top left, guys. And there are huge, huge bonuses that you can unlock literally for free just by logging in every single day if you increase your VIP level. So don't miss out on this. So let's go ahead and explain exactly what this VIP level is. It's basically just giving you exclusive buffs and daily free rewards. So you can see uh, it, it, you should be able to unlock VIP level one basically right away with the gems that you get by default. And once you get VIP level one, it gives you all these small bonuses. Your stone production goes up, your gold production, your food, your wood production all go up by 5%. And every time you're consecutively logging in, uh, daily logins. So make sure you play every day to take advantage of these free gifts. You get, you know, all these free rewards. But every single time you upgrade your VIP level, you're going to get even better rewards, even better buffs. And so let's quickly talk about how to increase your VIP levels because there's three main ways. The way number one is going to be with your gems. You can straight up just come in here and use your gems to increase your VIP level, increase that right there to get more buffs. So if you want, save your gems, use them for the VIP level. I actually recommend this. Method number two, if you're the kind of player that wants to spend a little bit of money, is in some of the bundles you can buy some of these bundles and you can see right here, some of them come with free VIP points. Other bundles come with gems that you can just use to buy more VIP points. And finally, the third method for all my free to play friends out there, is you can unlock more VIP points simply by logging in every single day. You can see this in the bottom left here, uh, consecutive login VIP points, 100 points just for logging in today. And every single consecutive day you log in, that number can actually increase. So make sure you log in every day and you can get your VIP level all the way up without even spending money if you want to. Now let's talk about some of the buffs and the daily rewards you actually get from the VIP levels. Now I already showed you VIP level one, VIP level two. Uh, the first four or five VIP levels aren't super amazing, but still 100% worth it. You need to be upgrading your VIP level constantly because look, every single time you go up, here's level five and you're just getting all these passive buffs that you might not even notice, but they make a huge difference, guys. 15 and 10% to all these production speeds makes your progress go by so much faster. Not to mention, you're also starting to get rare mana stones. You're starting to get uh, uncommon mana stones at level four and level three. And even at level two, you're getting uncommon mana stone every day so you can upgrade your heroes. But at level five, you finally get the rare mana stone, which is going to be nice. So when you unlock those rare heroes, you can upgrade them a little bit every single day. But here we go. Level six. This is the first level that's really super important. And I'll show you why. So at level six, you finally unlock permanently higher additional building artisan. This is super important, guys, because when you're just logging in every day and trying to upgrade all your buildings, you only have one artisan. When you first start the game, you get a second artisan for the first 48 hours. And then if you want another artisan, you're going to have to come over here to the artisan's house. You're going to have to hire him for two days and he's going to charge you a lot of gems. Or you can just upgrade your VIP level all the way to level six and you permanently get the second builder. And you're going to be able to upgrade twice as fast. Then you progress to level seven, some more rewards, some bigger buffs, of course. And then level eight. The next big milestone, the reason why level 8 is so important and you need to try to get here as quickly as possible is because now every single day you log in, you're getting an advanced prayer book, which is going to allow you to summon legendary heroes, summon legendary mana stone, and you even get a legendary mana stone every single day. If you have a legendary hero unlocked, this is so worth it to just be able to get these for free because of how rare they are every single day you log in and then of course from here it gets a little bit tougher and tougher 
to upgrade your VIP levels, but it's worth it as you go up. You can see once we get to level 11, uh, you all of a sudden get two advanced prayer books and two legendary mana stone every single day. So that straight up doubles the amount that you're getting, which is so nice. And this goes all the way up to level 16, where at the final level 16, you get three prayer books, four legendary mana stone every single day. So definitely you want to focus on upgrading your VIP level with all your gems. If you're spending money on bundles, focus on some of the bundles that have VIP points in them. And if you're a free to play player, or honestly for every player out there, make sure you log in every day. Even if some days you can't play much, just make sure you log in and you get your consecutive login VIP points. Now, one of the early unique heroes I recommend in the game is getting Jeanette. And as soon as you do, use all of your unique mana stones to increase her level because she has some amazing passive skills that you can see right here really good for early game even to mid game perfect hero and the legendary hero that i recommend leveling up with all your legendary mana stones is mela b as soon as you unlock her use all your mana stones increase her level she is such a good offensive hero as you can see from all these passive bonuses and even her active bonus they're so heavily focused on offense it's going to allow you to just absolutely demolish the competition so those are the best hidden rewards for beginners that a lot of beginners miss early game in grand cross age of titans guys don't neglect your vip level get it up as soon as you can let me know what you guys think about the video what i should cover next and i'll see you in the next one